armor, some keys. Battle rifle. Two battle rifles. We'll let them out in a second. Let's just search the camp. Savage legs. Savage helmet. Ooh. Road sign cleaver. Red iron helmet. Face like yours doesn't need protecting. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I think that's everything out here. That's a medical box. Are you? Did Mama Cotter send you? Um, Mama Cotter? Who the hell is Mama Cotter? She's the one who set everything up. She arranged for the smugglers to pick us up here and sneak us into Colorado Springs. She was going to meet us at the gate and find us beds and food. I doubt she knew what bastards those smugglers were. They took everything we had as bonus payment. We're refugees, every one of us. Driven off our land by the Plains gangs. Now we're stuck here with no food, but we'll probably freeze before we starve. We need transport to Colorado Springs or we're dead. <sighs> Came here to stop the flow of refugees. Can you go somewhere else? How? We have no money, no food, no vehicles. We need to find someone who can carry all of us to the city, and soon. We're not going to last out here. I've heard that merchant caravans stop at the bazaar. Maybe one of them could help us. But the monster army won't let us into the bazaar, and we don't have any money to pay for transport. Well, we'll see if you can. we can find someone in the bazaar that, who can help you. You're the only hope we have. If we're stuck here much longer, I doubt we'll survive. We'll wait here and try to keep warm. Well, I guess a few more refugees won't harm anyone. <laughs> I've stopped the flow. Just need to take five more guys and it's okay. Let's go over to Bazaar. Get everyone over there, ideally. I think we talked to a merchant somewhere now. Try hot noodles. Talk to Mas Masato. The man before you is moving so fast he's nearly a blur. As he dashes from pot to pot on his stove, stirring one, t tasting another. As you approach, he stops his cooking to turn his undivided attention to you. Hello, hello there, my friends. My name is Masato, and let me tell you, your taste buds will remember the day you met me. Here, have you ever seen anything this delicious? Behold, the steaming hot bowl in front of you filled to the brim with some kind of noodle. 
That looks amazing. May we? Yes, yes. Be my guest. After enjoying this bowl, know that my store is open to you. I have a variety of goods that you may find useful. He hands you the bowl, which turns out to be a mix of noodles and pork, which is filling and quite delicious. He watches you eat it with a hopeful grin. A man who never eats pork is never a whole man. But I have to tell you, my friends, these noodles are a pale imitation of the real thing. The great pre-war delicacy. The rarest of rare magics. Instant ramen noodles. I thought so. I hope one day I will perfect my recipe to recreate them. But enough about me. How can I be of service? So you're looking for instant ramen noodles? I might happen to have some. Ah, you picked up on my subtle hints. Years ago, a friend in Colorado Springs gave me a package of instant ramen noodles that he had found in the Warrens underneath the bazaar. The experience changed my life forever, and I moved here in hopes of finding more. The cook starts to fidget, the spare painting his face as he loses his usual buoyant composure. Please, you must understand. It is as if my body is made of ramen. <laughs> you have been to the Warrens, yes? Did you see any vending machines? I've heard they may hold this delicacy. Please, let me know if you find any. Here are some instant ramen noodles. Yes, yes! My friends, you don't know what this means to me. You have altered the course of human gastronomical history. Here, a small measure of my gratitude. Oh, he gave me $300. Yeah, baby, that's worth it. We're looking for a caravan master. Peridolia Jones is the only caravan master here, but as luck would have it, he's oh. also one of our best. He's right over there. Masato indicates a man in a cowboy outfit standing near the fountain's edge. Ranger HQ could use a chef like you. Oh, how interesting. You mean a permanent position? A full kitchen of my own? You bet. I, thanks to you, I've accomplished my goal here. So I am more than ready for my next adventure. Let me pack up my supplies here, and I'll see you at your HQ. Oof, thank you, Masato. My men have been starving, and they will appreciate your food. I'll have to set up a supply line to get you pork, though. Anything you can tell us about the bizarre resi residence? Eidolon is relatively new to this place. She showed up not long after I did. Her business model is interesting. Not sure how she actually makes money, though. <laughs> I'll have to go talk to her, then. Can you tell me more about... Oh. I see you wear it's just to... My store is always open to you, my oh. friends. It sells drugs. It sells alcohol. Cigarettes. Hobo dog. You can really taste the hobo. The scene. Okay. Fill up, barkeep. I'll tell you when to quit. <laughs> ben? Hey, pals. Finn is the name. If you need a drink, you've come to the right place. If you got questions, well, I suppose that's okay, too. What can you tell us about this place? Doing better, thanks to your help. I'm thinking maybe those clowns were the reason the last bartender disappeared. Been trying to fill her shoes as best I can. See you later, my friend. Come back anytime. Oh, yeah, I was going to talk to Long John. Or... Long John Jones. Don't y'all be bashful or nothing. If you know any way I can help, y'all need to be telling me what I can do. So why are you trying to pretend you're not a synth? Me? A synth? Aren't you adorable? I'm meat and muscle, just like you, Rangers. Shucks, I even have dreams all the time. 
technical dreams about flying and standing naked in front of people I don't quite know. Sense don't do that. You still think you're a synth. I'm not a synth. Why, wow, just last night I had the most human <laughs> the dream. The most human dream. I was back in high school. There was a trigonometry test. I sat down confident and rash, only to realize I completely forgot to study. I also enjoy toasted eggs in the morning. A very human thing. Yeah. I love my toasted eggs in the morning. You know everyone can tell that's a mask, right? Look, we can see things. Oh, Strings. you kids in your humor. Oh. If the folk in the bazaar really thought I was a synth, would they have tried to decommission me? Not that I'm afraid of such things. Being the perfectly ordinary human male that I am. <laughs> he hesitates. All right, fine. I am a synth. But you can't tell anyone. Why are you so afraid? But everyone in the bazaar already knows. Yeah. Do they? Well, I'm not sure I believe that. If they knew, wouldn't they have melted me down to scrap by now? People don't like sense, as far as I've seen. You're clever ones. And bully to you for figuring out who I am. But let's not talk about it again, okay? The topic puts me on edge. Thing. Tell us about your travels. I'll tell you youngins what I can. Despite the fact I'm old as the mountains, figuratively speaking, that is. Humans rarely live past 70, and I'm just about ready to expire. <laughs> I don't know everything, you hear? Even though I walked all the way from Denver to Steel Town and back again. You have any stories about Colorado Springs? Colorado Springs? It's an all right place, a little uptight, but that's what you get from having all of the hundred families there. I like the scientists and engineers, though. Real clever kids. I'll come back and talk to him. Best of luck to you. See ya, my friend, Long John. All right, Bucky. Hot noodles. Oh, shit. Uh, what that else weird was I gonna do? Check out again. Quirks' his museum. Don't make eye contact. Maybe he'll go away. Is the fountain? Thank you I for your you. help. I love you. Old Ruby. Look, ladies. Try not to pile on me all at once. What you're looking at here, ladies, is a man that can rock oh, your shit. world. <laughs> that weird can guy. We check out Fish and Telly's shop next to me. I love those Don't boots. make eye contact. So maybe he is. Go away. <laughs> Where is that weird guy at the fountain? Where's the fountain? Oh, shit. Can we check out Fish and Telly's shop next? He's staring at us again. Don't make eye contact. Maybe he'll go away. We should get something hot. Look up hot. I'm very confused. Where is the fountain? Thank you for your help. Randy, get. This young red headed man is decked out with tools ready to work. He turns to you. Not pausing his fervent chewing. Hey, strangers. Randy's the name. Automobiles are the game. Flab's master mechanic, they call me. How can I help? You like working here? Not particularly. It's boring work. I only get pulled in if something breaks that a tender can't fix, so I spend most of my time just waiting here, like I'm doing now. But beggars can't be choosers. Would you be interested in a job here at Ranger HQ? 
well at the Range Rage Q. No offense, but you're a gamble in a hard luck casino. Don't like working in the bazaar, but it's constant money, and I need that right now. See, some months ago, my dad wrote me that he thought he'd seen folks skulking around our homestead. I dismissed it. Our place has always been isolated and safe. Stupid. Turns out it was a small band of one of them crazy planes gangs. They sent me a letter. My parents are dead, and they're holding my kid brother and sister hostage. I, I ain't even close to having enough money to pay the ransom. Even if I did, I suspect they'd just kill us all after I pay. So what's a guy to do? Oh, is this guy from the burnt down farmstead we went to? The Git farmstead, or... I don't remember if that was the name. We could get your family back. You mean, get them, get them? Hmm. I don't normally condone violence, but if it's what it takes... Let me show you where to find our old homestead. I'll meet you there. You help out the Get family, and I'll work for you. No doubt about it. See you there. It don't take too long, okay? Okay, Randy. Give me at least a couple days I need to get some affairs in order. Okay, now let's find the weird guy by the Hot fountain. Noodles. A laser pistol. Oh, I've always wanted one of these. I'll oh, forget oh, it. Shit. You'll shoot your eye out. weird guy in the fountain? He's staring at you. Check out Pichatelli's shop next. Might as well. I love we those boots. Where'd you get, you get them? Get I wonder if I can get gear here. I wonder if Talbot's got any leather dusters to stop. Dogs. Dr. Cold Cuts can cure what ails ya. Oh, here, it's this guy. Is this supposed to be a fountain? I don't see this fountain. Peridolia Jones. As you approach, this man's eyes split over every member of your team. As if he's assessing whether or not you are a direct threat, he relaxes after a moment and touches the brim of his hat with a slight nod. Howdy, ma'am. He nods at Lucia. Howdy. Always good to see a Wesson. He turns to you, nodding again. We could use your help. There's a group of refugees topside who needs transport to Colorado Springs. I see. Not my usual line of business, but I don't see why not. My normal rates would apply for a one-way transport. Three hundred dollars. Up for sale. Just my services as a caravan master. I organize caravans to get people, goods, and livestock from one place to another. But I don't sell goods myself. These lands near Colorado Springs are pretty safe, but still, lots of people need help getting around, especially if you want to range further than that. I think about it. So long. I'm a level. Is there any way I can get up to level 6 barter? I'm at level 4. I would need. No, I wouldn't be able to do it. Crap. A lot of money, if I'm honest. I have the cash, I might as well do it. Here's the money to transport the refugees to waiting near the parking garage. No problem. I'll make sure they're part of my next caravan run to Colorado Springs. I'll send someone to collect them right now. See you later. So long. Gosh darn it. Hot noodles! Well that that costs a pretty penny. We just paid him off, even though it's hurting me a little bit to pay that much cash. Hot noodles! But it's the right thing to do. Let's head back to the Ranger HQ. Everyone, let's go. Oh wait, actually, let's go talk to... 
the guy over here, the well-dressed man. The Book of Nauseatingly Correct Manners, Chapter 1, on the proper use of etiquette. It is a common misconception that etiquette exists as a means of affirming one's social status at the expense of the uninitiated. That is, it serves long. as a barrier to keep the uncivilized home. apart from their betters. Of course, nothing could be further from the truth. Etiquette and proper manners are the glue that binds civilized society together. And it is the duty of civilized persons to educate the less fortunate for the betterment of all. Proper etiquette, gentle reader, is the balm that soothes the savage beast. He's a very fine gentleman. Felicitations. We have eight of the people a bazaar. Are you ready to join us? So I heard. You have shown both grace and charity. It will be my honor to work for your organization. Just give me some time to gather my things and I will see you there. See you there, Anada. Well, it seems we're slowly building up our Really need to ask our people tell you to look at my gun. Ah, here jammed. at the Ranger HQ. Getting some traders. Got a cook already. Now let's go say hi to our medic, Doc Parker. Big update here from Rocky Mountain Monsters. Shit's starting to get real, Monster fans. We've been hearing heavy footsteps in the woods close by, and we found prints all around our camp. We've gotten Bigfoot's attention, and he's checking us out. Stay tuned! Go visit visit our favorite person, Doc Parker. What do you need, Rangers? I'll do what I can. Have a seat. Fine. Just don't get shot up out there and make more work for me. Check out our new chef and see where our shops are. Uh, uh -huh. Nice place they got here. Classy. Yeah. I think somebody pissed on the floor right here. What kind of disgusting animal do a thing like that? What's this? Huh? Why am? I... Huh? Uh, who, who's that? Gotcha, Razors? What are you doing here? I heard you was off in Colorado or, or somewhere. Well, welcome back. Well, this calls for a drink. Cheers. Oh, hey, take a mini. Stop. Is that you, Razors? Boy, I ain't seen you in a donkey's age. <laughs> this calls for a, a drink. Cheers! Hey, who drank my squeezins? What kind of a place is this? <laughs> hate to tell you this, but you're showing signs of late stage liver disease. <laughs> what do you know? I ain't had a liver for years. We're not back from Colorado. We're still in Colorado. You're in Colorado. <laughs> you're, you're drunk. <laughs> if we was in Colorado, there'd be snow all over the place and you'd all be wearing parkas. You gotta cut back on the squeezes. Who are you? What are you doing in our bar? Come on, Rangers! You know me! It's Scotchmo! Your pal! Scotch I fought Coach Chase with you! 
I hope you beat all them damn robots. Sorry, Scotchmo. That was Team Echo. We're Team November. You can't fool me with that stuff. I know who you are. How did you get here? What do you mean, how did I get here? I've been here the whole time. How did you get here? You, you got a screw loose. Well, you're welcome to stay. Have a drink. Well, don't mind if I do. Cheers! Yes. But I ain't here to drink, nuh -uh. I'm here to sign up. I want to be a ranger again, just like before. I know you rangers been going through hard times, so I'm doing my patriotic duty and offering my services <laughs> as a tired and, and true veteran. What do you say? His patriotic duties? Sure. Why not? Every we could use everyone we can. Thank you, Scotchmo. We'd be honored to have you. Welcome aboard. Hot oh, diggity! Give me a gun and uh, point me at the bad guys. I, I'm. Oh. Uh. Ready? Lead on, Rangers. Oh, well, level eight. Small arm, sneaky shit, picking. Uh, no. You can stay there and drink. <sighs> I don't locked up anyone, so this person has nothing to do, unfortunately. Chillblains, uh, Tremens, uh, who can tell? Hey, can I borrow your mirror again? Sure, whatever you need. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. damage. Oh, here he is. I haven't seen him. Helping our fellow man is an absolute imperative. I only hope they'll be respectful of our personal space. How's her reputation holding up? I would say your reputation has improved dramatically. I haven't heard an impolite word about Team November in quite some time. Quite some time. I see you, kids. Of course, Rangers. It would be impolite not to share such tremendous deals. Can I sell my junk with you? Didn't have much, I guess. Okay, this place is looking well staffed now. At least partially. What do you need, Rangers? Hunch That's up. what you pay me for. Have a seat.
fine. Just don't get shot up out there and make Oh, we're looking on medical supplies. We're looking pretty good, actually. Okay, I think this is a good time as any to go through my level ups. I should do intelligence, get my critical up. Awareness, hit chance, perception, range damage, bonus still. We'll go for explosives here. A point and sniper rifle. Concentration. Gain 10% hit chance in using a sniper rifle if you don't move for one round. That's interesting, but I'm not sure I'll, it's useful. Do some quick reflexes. Also get awareness at max. Okay, no more awareness. Nerd stuff. I feel like I should get some points in nerd stuff. Post repair. The mechanics. some awareness. I guess we'll save the points for now. survival okay everyone's leveled up I guess the next thing to do would be go down either to the Payaso Museum the Crown Museum or we'll head to the homestead Although, first things first, let's head down to Colorado Springs. You read the last issue of the Colorado Patriot? Extra, extra, bloody shootout. I should go talk to some lady. Something Cobb? 
I talk with Mama Connor in downtown Colorado Springs. Who is Mama Connor? Looking for the latest news? Yeah. You bet. Did you just give me a hickey? Extra. You, Troy. Those old people are looking at us. <laughs> it's okay, Brandy. I got this. Get lost, you perv douchebags. Before I... Wait a minute. You're old, right? Can you get us some beers? Stupid Mary Milk Teeth won't sell us any. Too young, she says. Give Boris Light? Yeah, sure. No one wants to drink Boris Light. Uh, ew. Light? Guess it's got alcohol, so whatever. Oh, yay! Light is my absolute fave. <laughs> uh, it's okay. They can get rid of the crap here. And maybe he, that guy will stop giving her hickeys. We'll be entertained with a beer from now on. Helen Busker. Well, I don't see any mama cotton mama, her name is. Howdy. Charlene Busker. Howdy. Listen to the Busker song. Turn up the audio, I guess. Started again with a voice on the wind. Play goes 
Synthetic men worked in the shadows and guided our worst foes with schemes to hasten our end. Blues led away to LACA in a cult of post human peace. There's only a rose there, brain stolen for use in an army of synths for coaches. Returned, well, he had to be burned, so we raced back to Ranger HQ. Our brightest and best were put to the test, and died so Cochise might die too. And we'll keep on a fighting, oh, there's wrongs to be righting, and our victories. Despite all the dangers, the old desert rangers, the world knows that we persevere. Yes, the rangers abide, we fight side by side. Dawn of year zero, the world's needed heroes. The rangers must still persevere. You want to talk to Mama? She's the one in charge. Well, the Ranger song was beautiful. I'm so yeah, I really like that. 